Could you just walk me through everything on the vest? Yeah, so this is a uh, level 3A top of the line ballistic vest that Sea Orlando purchased for all the uh, apparatus riders on all the trucks, engines, and rescues. Basically, it's set up for uh, bleeding control is on the outside and the center pocket is for airway. This other additional pouch is for a radio if we need to use that to communicate. So you start over here, you got scissors, trauma scissors, uh, some tape there. This is a, a hemostatic bandage or traumatic bandage that we utilize to help wrap a wound if it's bleeding a lot. We have gauze that'll go in the pocket as well. We work our way back to the center. We got airway stuff, so if somebody gets shot maybe in the chest, we may have to plurally decompress them and relieve that pressure in the chest. So this is a rec recommended size needle for that. And then we have a chest seal device which would cover the hole so air doesn't seep out once we do that if there's a wound that's uh, caused a through and through gunshot wound on the chest. You get back over here on the other side and there's more bleeding control, specifically the CAT2 bandage uh, tourniquet that we utilize. We'll basically put down the wound as high as we can get it, high and tight is our recommendation, and it'll stop the bleeding because most bleeding, if it's heavy enough, within three minutes somebody can die. So it's uh, critical that we get that on as soon as we can. And, and use in conjunction the other bandages, or this other little roll here is called Quick Clot, which is actually a hemostatic agent. If we have a wound that we can actually push this into, it'll actually clot the blood even quicker and stop the bleeding. So all of it is basically either bleeding control for the majority of it or, or airway issues, which in trauma are the top two killers for all those types of incidents. And that's why we chose to go with it. Again, all the equipment has basically been enhanced since the military, modified for, for civilian use, and then we use it in these vests. And so having it like this, they're able to be protected, but then also quickly accessed. Exactly. The personnel are protected when they go into these scenes, and they're able to quickly deal with the most common injuries that could kill somebody uh, in a quick manner and they can work right out of these pockets. Now that's not on top of if we take our regular, uh, if we take our first aid equipment BLS bag, but we're utilizing this for basically scenes of violence for the most part. And if we have an actor shooter scenario, we'll team up with the OPD, a security force. We'll go in and help treat victims there and extricate them from that uh, environment. And what we call that is a warm zone. Uh, basically it's where the shooter may be in the building, but he's not able to get a clean shot off in the direction of our personnel. So we feel comfortable manning them with uh, this proper equipment and giving them the gear to take in there to deal with people, the tools. They're gonna be able to hopefully treat somebody and get them out of that building so we can get them to the hospital even quicker.